Hello everybody, how you doing? Hope you're well. I apologise for the mask, obviously I need that to go in and do my shopping. <laughs> um, it's given me a sort of 1970s film star tash. I was just thinking, I think this might be the last time that I go in in person because I think I'm probably going to do like the click and collect. My mum and sister have been saying that it's a good way to go. You literally order the food online, you turn up at Tesco and they put it in the boot of your car. So it means you don't have to go into Tesco and expose yourself to the virus. And with things the way they are at the moment, it just feels like that's probably a good idea because uh, my only point of contact with other human beings right now is the supermarket if i'm going to catch covid it's going to be in there so i think if i can eliminate <coughs> oh no i sneezed into my hand see like we didn't used to worry about this in the past you could sneeze into your hand freely this covid i'm sick of it i don't know about you I'm, well i'm sure you i'm sure you, i do know about you <laughs> actually i'm sure you're sick of it too today is the day that my new camera is being delivered um, I currently just vlog on my iPhone. I've gone for a Canon G7X Mark II, which is the classic YouTuber camera. Um, it's good for vlogging. It looks decent. I'm, I'm happy with it. I looked at the spec and that was the one that I wanted. I need to go and do the food shop and then I'm going to go home and I'm going to unbox my new Canon G7X Mark II. So I'm home from shopping. I've just got back and there was a parcel waiting for me. I do believe this is my new camera, Canon G7X Mark II, which I did order via Amazon. It actually did end up being the cheapest way to do it. And I'm not made of money, so I'm going for the cheapest way. This actually marks quite a big sort of moment really for the channel uh, because I've just been vlogging on my, on my phone up until this point. So to actually buy a dedicated vlogging camera feels like progress. This is a camera that has been recommended to me extensively by lots of people in the know, lots of YouTubers. I've got some friends who are YouTubers as well and they uh, tend to use this camera most of the time. So I figured this was the one to go for. Within my price range, this seemed to be a good one and lots of the big YouTubers that I watch use this camera as well regularly. Uh, so I figured if I was gonna upgrade, I would follow the advice of the experts and um, go for the Canon G7X Mark II. So that's what I've done. I ordered a couple of extra bits to go with it as well. It wasn't just the camera. So first of all, we've got this, um, which is like a little tripod thing. Um, it's called a, a Joby Gorillapod tripod. This was, I think, £20. Oh, this is not easy to open. I've made a real mess of this, I'm not gonna lie. As you can see, it's bendy, it's flexible. You can wrap it around different things. Uh, you could even wrap it around your hand if you wanted to, like that. But anyway, you get the idea. It's a bendy, bendy tripod, which works with the camera. So I ordered that as an extra and that was about 20 pounds. So that's pretty affordable. Also got this uh, Mega Gear. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I ordered quite a few things, quite a few accessories and some of them have arrived. Oh yeah, so this is a little bag. Um, you can see that, that you can put the camera in. It's got strong Velcro on it. You can clip it to like a rucksack or something, but that's just a little bag. I wanted to keep the camera safe, you know, cause I've, I've a tendency to drop things. So I've gone for this. I don't want to get the price wrong. So I'll dub myself over the top. This was 15 pounds and you know, as you can see, quite convenient, quite useful. Hopefully it fits. That's the only thing, but we're about to find out if it fits because the next thing I've got is the camera itself. Here it is. This is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. As you can see, it comes in this little box. Even since I was young, like when I was at school and college, I loved making videos. I love making films, little films, whether it's for my church or just with friends or just for myself. And I love doing it. I love the process of filming and editing. I love all of it. So to finally, at the age of 31, <laughs> to get myself a proper camera just for filming, it's a big moment and I'm very, very grateful. And actually I wanna thank everybody who watches this channel because I would not have had the inspiration or the drive, if you like, to go and buy one of these if it hadn't been for you guys watching and enjoying the video. So thank you so much for your support with this channel because without you, I wouldn't be able to have this camera. Oh, it feels like Christmas day all over again. Warranty, definitely need to look into that. Instruction manual, getting started. That's like a power cable, so I assume that's to charge it. Uh, battery there, so it comes with a battery. It's good to maybe to have a few batteries. I have ordered a couple more batteries um, because the last thing you want is to be filming and your battery dies and you've got to charge it before you can use it again. So I ordered a couple of backup batteries as well, but it does come with one. Oh, that's a little strap, which I guess you can put on the camera to attach it to different things. Um, you have got the, uh, here we go. There's a little charging port there. So the battery will go into the charging port. I will show you this now. There we go. So the battery, you can charge it in there like that. And I'm guessing 
that is what this power cable is for. That would make sense, wouldn't it? You've got this one here, which is a little charging port for the battery. So that's very, very useful. But this is the thing that you're all here to see. And this is what I'm excited to see. It is the camera. Oh, look at that. That is very cool. I love it already. It feels weighty and what a moment. I'm very, very, very happy to have one of these in my hand. Look at that as well. Oh, that's gonna be so useful. Look at that. The screen comes up so you can video yourself like this. That's gonna be really useful because right now in order to see myself, I've got it on the selfie mode, which means I'm looking at myself rather than at you up there. You see what I mean? So with this, I'll be able to look into the lens whilst being able to make sure I'm in shot. So that is gonna be really useful. But I'm just excited. I mean, this is, yeah, this is really cool. I can't wait to get it started. So it does come with all the paperwork and whatnot, which I will look through later. But you know what it's like, you get a new toy, you just wanna have a play with it, don't you? You read the books later. So we'll put those to one side. Let's get it turned on. Let's see if we can figure out how it works. Uh, Cause I've never had one of these in my hand before. I have no idea how they work. Um, the other things that I have ordered, by the way, for this camera, we've got a screen protector coming for this. Uh, for the screen because as I say, I'm a dropper, like Chandler and friends, I'm a dropper. I've also ordered some extra batteries. I have also ordered a battery charging pack. Oh, and an SD card, <laughs> which you obviously need. But until that stuff arrives, I'm not gonna be able to film on this camera. Do I need to name the camera? Do people name their cameras? Let me know down below if you're a YouTuber. Have you named your camera? Something about, you know, 20, a new start, new beginning, a new dawn, dawn. The camera is called Dawn, everyone. I'll have, a th I'll have a think about the name. Okay, there we go. Okay, battery's in, lock, and let's turn him on. Turning it on. There we go, we're on. So we need to set the date and time. 12, 2021, everyone. 13, 20. Okay, London's close enough. Date and time is set to 12, 13, 20. There we go, we're working, we're up and running. How do we zoom? That's how we zoom. It's, I mean, there's tons of different settings on here. There we go, so you can set face ID so that it picks up your face as you video and as you walk around. I'm talking as though I know what I'm talking about. I really have no idea. We're gonna figure out the different settings. Oh, th I didn't even know that. This is actually a touch screen right here. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, so, if we go like this. So I can click on myself and that remains, that means that I, uh, no matter where I go, I remain in focus. You see, look at that. I really don't know a ton about this camera yet. Um, and I can't even film on it yet because as you, I don't know if you can see that at the top, but it says no memory card. Uh, my SD card is on the way. So when it arrives, I will show you properly how this camera actually works. Here it is, it's arrived. It's part of the From the Ash family. I'll see you later when I've learned a little bit more. Okay, it's a little while later now. I have been playing around a bit with the Canon G7X Mark II. These are the other bits that I ordered just to go with the camera and to help me use it a little bit better. I've kind of forgotten what I've all, what is that? I don't even know what this is. It's like a wooden box. I honestly, legitimately have no clue what is inside here. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I wonder what it was. It was a, like, it's just a box with a funter written on it. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is a funter? But a funter is um, actually the screen protectors, which will go on the back of this. I'll just get the camera out again. Keep leaving it in the bag because as I said, I am a breaker of things. Uh, and that is why I ordered these. These are the screen protectors and they will need to be put on very carefully, but that will go on there just to stop me from breaking the screen. So that was a must for me. I think they were about seven pounds. Everything I bought was from Amazon. This is the thing that I was waiting for the most, which is the SD card for the camera. I've gone for a SanDisk Extreme Pro 64 gig uh, card, which again, seems to be quite well recommended. I mean, you know, to me an SD card's an SD card. You know what I mean? But. I think this one looks pretty good. And then with this uh, camera, what you do is you actually put the SD card in here where the battery goes. There's a slot there just to the side of it, which is where the SD card goes. And that is where you store all your videos. Really happy that's arrived because that means I can actually use the camera now. Um, and this was the last thing that I ordered, which I know what this one is. We have got a charger here for uh, batteries for the camera. And then I've got two spare batteries in here. Just gonna check they are the right 
So, yeah, so we've got two of those. Yeah, so you've got your batteries and they literally stand in the charging ports there. And these are going to count as my spares. They're not official Canon batteries, but they were, again, very well rated. I think they were about £20 for the batteries and the charging port. And of course, you get a cable here. That end goes in there. That end goes into like a USB port on a computer or plug or whatnot and then you can charge up your spare batteries so those are just a few extra bits that i bought having these things straight away at the start is a good idea to buy it all in one go because then in theory i can just use the camera i'm now ready to swap over to the canon g7x mark ii which is quite exciting uh, i have been playing around the last couple of hours with the settings and just trying to figure out how it all works when i've got my head around it properly i probably will do a video saying you know what my favorite settings are for vlogging and different things like that that'll come in the future because I really don't know how the camera works just yet. But everything has now arrived. I'm going to swap over now to the Canon G7X Mark II for filming um, from this moment on. So after this clip that you're watching right now, I will be on the new camera. I think you'll notice the difference. I think you will. The iPhone has served me very well. I must say for the last year, since last January, I have been using an iPhone 11 to do my vlogs and it has served me well. I've not had any problems with it whatsoever. It's been a good servant to the channel. So iPhone 11, thank you very much for doing what you do for From the Ash. But now it's time to move on. We're going to the Canon G7X Mark II. Here we go. And there we go. Look at the difference in quality. I love that the background is sort of blurred and you can't see it, but around my face on the actual camera screen, there's a little square and it's picked up where I am. And no matter where I go, even if I put my hand in the way, look at that. The face stays in focus. I love it. I'm very, very happy so far. It is the next day. I had a pretty busy night last night doing various bits and bobs, but I just wanted to show you. I mean, look at the quality difference. I'm so impressed. It's definitely a jump up from the iPhone. This is the first time I've ever been able to show you um, the phone because I'm always filming on it, but this is what I've been filming on for the past uh, year and a bit, this phone. We're onto the Canon G7X Mark II, and I'm very, very impressed so far, I must say. You can see every single wrinkle in my forehead. You can see all the gray hairs, uh, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that because the quality difference is noticeable. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. I'm still playing around with the settings a little bit, uh, so still figuring out how it all works. We've got higher quality videos and we've got lots of really good content coming your way. So do subscribe if you haven't already. The link is down below. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it gave you a bit of an idea as to what to expect when you buy your Canon G7X Mark II. Right now I've just gone for a very basic set of settings if you like. Uh, I need to find out a little bit more about how it all works but I will do a video telling you what settings I use so that if you've got this camera you can go for the same or you can try and find your uh, combo that you like for your channel. But thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. See you again soon. Please stay safe and keep going. Don't give up and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.